Thanks for being here today, guys. I'm excited that you're here. We've got a lot to talk about. I ended up going to Panama City, well, really Dustin, Florida, for spring break with a good, good buddy of mine and his wife and kids that we got to spend the whole week with. But we ended up taking a charter fishing trip out of Panama City, uh, about 26 miles offshore to go target Red Grouper. Uh, didn't have any luck, but we ended up landing close to 30 different fish. And uh, it was an awesome time. Crazy seas. I got some adventure to show you on the way up there. And then obviously out on the boat in the water, catching a plethora of fish and having some fun. So that said, let me take you through where we ended up. So we left out of Claremont, which is right outside of Orlando, and then tracked all the way up north to Tallahassee, Florida, and then you hang a left. You go straight west and you make your way over to Destin, which is where we ended up staying in Rosemary Beach area for the week through spring break. The yellow X represents where Scott and I ended up leaving to head out of Captain Anderson's Marina in Panama City on Friday. And uh, we went 26 miles or so with the blue line that indicates the X out to where we ended up uh, fishing at. So as you can see, it was a lot of travel involved, but sometimes to get out to the grounds, you've got to put in the extra effort. All right, guys, so on the way up, inevitably, there was an issue. So it's always important to have a dash cam. I'll tell you as a boat owner, I can't tell you how many times this camera's come in to help me. But take a look at this ladder that's fallen off of a truck two vehicles before me. And boom, that fast. And then there's a guy on the side of the road that almost gets hit walking up to it. So it's really important that you secure your gear and you also have a camera. So here's our families getting the opportunity to meet for the first time at the grocery store and Luke and Mac hanging out and driving the cart around. But then here's our spot in Dustin. Uh, it was really cool. We had the opportunity to find this place like literally three days before because the spot we rented uh, for whatever reason had a maintenance issue. So last second we got this spot. Luke was stoked as you can tell he just said cheese. And uh, I'll show you a little bit of the place that we stayed at but we're just getting set up at the moment. It's always good when you're traveling if you're gonna go fishing to have a nice kitchen with gear. I'll tell you when we uh, got here, the one thing that this place was lacking was actually cooking instruments like pots and pans and so forth. Um, so we ended up having to improvise a little bit, but as you prepare fish and cook for them, um, I like with smaller fish, just cooking them whole, uh, descaling them and cooking them with skin on. Uh, Yellowtail snappers kind of been my favorite new go-to, but as you'll see, we catch a lot of vermilion snapper, which is really similar to that type of a fish. Destin has so much to do. This place is called The Hub. Basically, it's a bunch of restaurants and then a dance floor where the kids can just burn off a ton of energy. Well, one of the days we got an opportunity to make it out to a pirate ship excursion where they actually take you on a sailing out to go pick up buried treasure and then do dolphin watching, which was a lot of fun for the kids. We also made an opportunity to get over to the zoo. And the zoo was a blast. It was downpouring. It was just monsooning outside as you'll see from the raincoats we've got, but being the fact that we're a fishing family, we had a lot of extra coats, we provided it to the kids and the families, we had fun. So it was a great time, we make the best of it, it's an adventure, and the kids got to see God's creation of some really, really exciting animals. So check this out, I'm gonna show you all the animals we ended up coming into contact with, and it always boggles my mind about how God's creativity worked to figure out all these animals he made.
Come on, Mama Missy. So as you guys can see, it's really cool to recognize what God created within seven days and bringing life to existence. Really, it was six. He rested on the seventh day. But to think that all these variety of animals came from some cosmic goop really takes a lot of faith. More faith, if you ask me, than recognizing the fact that there is a God that loves you and I and really did, through intelligent design, create life as we know it. So let's go see what's out in the ocean now as Scott and I head over to Panama City through a charter trip we take on a boat called New Beginnings. I think we're gonna hook up with something big. Oh! Well, keep her king, man. There we go. Is it a Goliath? It's a Goliath! Oh! That is the biggest golden tile I've ever seen. It's a sea monster. Oh my gosh, that is a big fish. God's providing, which he does well. guys it's 5 35 in the morning scripture surfer coming to you from panama city florida i've got my good buddy scotty g with me scotty gribbins hey, hey. and we are going out to celebrate my 40th birthday which is next month but uh this is the only time we can get together with the kids during spring break so we're heading out right now on a charter called new beginnings i'll send a link in the description after the video that you'll be able to uh, take a look at to book a reservation trip with them later, but we're heading out of the uh, inlet. I think it's like Anderson Marina or something like that. Um, and it's red grouper season. So we are looking to target red grouper, trigger fish, uh, white snapper, vermilion snapper, and then hopefully something else uh, just for some sport that's a little bit bigger. Uh, those fish can be kind of small. We were seeing them bringing them in yesterday as we stopped by the dock. But uh, I'll come back to you guys with some footage as we're out on the water. We're here. It's at Captain Anderson's Marina and Waterfront Market. We're the only people here. <laughs> I think we need the captains. So we're looking forward to it. Well, follow me. I'm going to head over to the New Beginnings, which is a boat we're going on right now. But we're looking forward to it. It's a nice, uh, cool, brisk, like 67 degree morning today. And uh, Scott and I are ready to head out and slay some monsters. Hopefully, we hook up with uh, something big. But it's what I always say wait until what God provides. But uh, it is going to be a little bit chop in the afternoon today. Um, so we got a clean morning this morning, but uh, I can already feel the wind picking up. The inlet's not bad here. You don't have a lot of uh, big waves like the haul over inlet like you see in those videos that you watch. But we're coming out here right now. And this is what we're going on, guys. The new beginnings. We're doing some bottom fishing today. Uh, here in the Gulf, I mean, we can go out far to tuna grounds, but really it's a two-day trip on a charter is what you'd expect. You can spend the night in the cabin. What's going on, guys? How are you? Morning. Hey guys, we're going out with. All right, guys, we'll take it off now. All right, guys, so what we're up against right now is uh, out in Panama City. There's uh, not too much of a variety of the fish that we're going to be able to catch today. Probably a uh, vermilion snapper, white snapper, uh, maybe some grunts. Uh, red grouper, we were talking to the captain, and he just thinks that right now they're really hard to find. So maybe God will bless us and we'll get some. If you guys want some diesel, it's actually cheaper on the water for diesel than it is at the gas station. <laughs> that says 4.53 a gallon. I don't know if you can see that. 
Right now it's uh, $4.99 to fill up at the gas pump on the road. I'm gonna come here and fill up my truck. <laughs> All right, man, we'll see you guys out there in a bit. give it track you don't want to give it slack so you keep the boat in gear at a slower speed he slows down and you fight the fish in toward you, you basically drown it but you don't allow slack if he's running out of the boat you got to kick it in we're about i don't know 50 feet out you can see him pop in the water it's a good size one too taking this as a king uh -huh. uh, I guess it feels pretty heavy for a Medina to be that big. But, I mean, we're, I know we're dragging right now. Oh, we pop off. Oh. We pop off. Back on the cedar plug. We're going 10 knots. We're at 112 feet of water, sandy bottom. This one's a little lighter, smaller fish. I gotta fight him. He's coming at the boat or either. He's really small. Bonita, that's what they've been thinking that we've been seeing. We've seen some birds dive over to the side. Oh, he's fighting there. He's digging hard. Yeah, he's running right. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Scott. You might climb up and see the color on him. See the swivel right there? Yeah. Get that in the rod tip if you're good.
already had a good morning start, but we got some big waves coming. Around about three to fours right now. Taking some heat, but it's a fun day out. We'll take it. Scotty got hit. We've got a chicken rig set up on right now where it's three hooks. We're just trying to put meat in the box right now just to make our money's worth and have some fish for the family when we get home. And then after that, maybe target specific uh, species, but probably uh, getting a snapper or something here, we'll see. Scotty bringing home the dinner. Okay, so it's keeper. That's what we're looking for. Ten inch keeper.
another trigger. I'm good. <laughs> it fell the same fight. Heck yeah, you get another one. How much are the limits on him? Oh no, he's digging harder. That's the dolphin. They got it. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing how fast it took it. We don't have the dolphin problems like that. See what happened, guys? Dolphin just smacked it. Yes, definitely let your viewers know that the dolphin. Dolphin are worse than the sharks in South Florida up here, apparently. They are. They are. You can do something about the sharks. You can't, can't do anything that. about the dolphin. Uh -huh. Look at that, guys. You want to know what it's like to uh, lose your bait, your fish? There you go. Big old dolphin. Fish oh didn't stand a chance. Poor guys. They had it, Kobe. Right, Scott? They deserved it. <laughs> they did. They were bullies. Especially those triggers, man. Those things fought their way up. <laughs> yeah, they did. All right, guys. We're at the dock now. You're seeing our spread here. Scotty, my cameraman's giving you a view, but caught a lot of the vermilion. You're allowed to catch and keep 10 each. So that included the mate and the captain. So we could have kept 40. Landed probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 20 here. Uh, so you got vermilion snapper, which are these red guys. You've got white snapper, which are these two. We got three really good sized trigger fish. And then the bonita just for bait for later. But if you guys ever wonder how and why they call it a trigger fish, can't push down on this little knuckle here, this little fin. But if you push right here, then it comes down. That's its defense mechanism. That's why it's called a trigger. So we've caught some good fish. The vermilion snapper give you a close up of it. So it's kind of like a yellow tail of Panama City. So this is what we look forward to eating tonight. The women are at home cooking up, got the kids ready for some food. We're looking forward to some, getting some fish on the grill. And uh, we'll see you guys later when we've got some grub set up. All right, guys. Well, thanks for checking out this video today. I hope you would subscribe or like the video just to help me get the promotion out there of it. So in regards to what we learned about this experience and trip this time around, um, when we chartered this boat, we had simply looked at what was in season to fish for in that territory. And what we found was red grouper. So we were hoping and planning on catching red grouper, but little did we know when we went and spoke to the captain that morning that red grouper are just not really prevalent in that territory. So we had to switch and pivot to other different types of fish as you saw, but that's a learning lesson. So if you're gonna go out and book a charter captain, don't just look at what's in season and able to take home and catch, but have a conversation with the captain ahead of time asking them realistically, what are you planning on hooking up with that is in that area? Had we traveled further west into Destin or even further east, that might have been an option for us. But as far as where we were located, it was pretty much what you saw. It was the vermilion snapper. There was a ton of red snapper that we caught that I didn't even show the video of. 
and then lots of trigger fish, which are great eating. All of them are uh, for that matter. But in regards to some bigger fish we were hoping to land, it didn't happen this time around, but I'm looking forward to doing some more of that as we take further charters out. But shout out to Brandon, the captain, and Hayden, the mate that were there. They put us through some rough seas and were able to get us out to the fishing grounds and put us on fish every time we dropped. So I really appreciate those guys. Always take care of your captains and their mate when you go out. They really do work hard as a livelihood to make sure that you have a good time. So when we got home, I got a really cool surprise from Missy and the crew. She had rented and booked a private cook to come out to the house and prepare an awesome meal for us. We had like oysters. There was like some kind of a cool uh, old fashioned dessert. Uh, but then we had the snapper for dinner and uh, that was really cool. Really, really good food. So. Just a bonus round for anybody out there looking for a creative idea to do for their significant other and family is definitely book a private chef to come out to your house and cook the meal. It was really top notch. All right, guys. Well, had a lot of fun making this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll look forward to catching you on the next one. Until then, adios.